Welcome back to our YouTube channel. My name is Tamu from Find a Job in Germany. Today with me, Raul. Hey, Raul. Hi, everyone. We want to talk about uh, data engineers. Data engineers are in very big demand in Germany. So if you are a good data engineer, you have very good chances to land a job here if you know how to do it right. Today, we want to go through a job description and we want to highlight some of the um, core skills which you need um, to be able to land a job here. Raul, what kind of job descriptions do you have for us now? So I have chosen one um, data engineering position on, um, for a company based in Berlin. Let's jump in and I guide you through. Yeah? So um, about the company itself, this is not as important right now, but what I would like to uh, emphasize here is the uh, your responsibilities and your profile in general. Yeah? So this is now on Azure. Azure is uh, cloud technology and it's often used, but of course AWS, I would say, is even more uh, important yeah. and, and in demand. And yeah. GCP is also in good demand. Exactly, so yeah. Worry. So AWS, Azure, and then GCP, but the, still we want to have a look at this one right now in order to understand um, what skills you need to bring on the table. Yeah? So we see it's a senior position and if they ask to five to eight years, you should also bring that. Yeah? It does not make sense um, if you have four years, if you apply for that position here, right? Exactly, especially at the moment, the job market is competitive. If Two years ago, we were also working with guys with three years of experience, but at the moment, you need to have at least five years. Hopefully, that will change again um, in a few months. If the job market is picking up again, um, then also with less experience, you have good chances again. Um, and then they jump into more details on specific years that you need to have in Azure services, cloud services. And that is interesting here that they have now, um, and this is for all data engineer position, pointed out quite heavily the SQL part. Yeah? So SQL is very, very important for um, all the data engineers out there. Yeah? Also scripting skills for Bash, PowerShell, also Jupyter um, Notebook, but SQL optimization um, in the maintaining of um, SQL queries is very, very important that you need to, to uh, show and prove that you have worked on it. Yeah? Um, what is also um, very high on demand, and this is the engineering or data engineering um, development all over um, the place, is built on one side from scratch, the architecture, data architecture, but also maintain and optimize. Yeah? And here, the importance of big data. Yeah? Um, they mentioned um, also... Um, to some extent about, about that, but we talk about um, Spark, we talk about Hive, we talk about Hadoop, yeah? Also, um, Apache Kafka is uh, often mentioned, yeah? And, um, uh, yes, and, jump and Maybe to jump in, you emphasized on, on, on SQL SQL before. Obviously, um, it's written there as well, Python uh, is your standard go-to language. You need standard. to be very, very good in the fundamentals of Python. And... If you're also good in Java or Scala, that can be a nice add-on. You don't have to be, but sometimes companies also focus on a Java Scala tech stack. But in the end, you always, as Rose said, need, you need to be good in Python and, and SQL. That needs to be, the fundament, fundamentals need to be very, very good. Good. Um, and then we see something that they have not mentioned here um, uh, too much, but it also is very important. And if you compare more and more job descriptions uh, here in Germany, you will see Databricks is mentioning for um, data processing and analytics. They give you a hint on that um, uh, here, yeah, unstructured and structured data, and Databricks is the tool that you should be aware of. Yeah? Um, so building stuff from scratch, optimize it, of course, the ETL uh, pipeline structure and so on and so on. That is very important and become aware, as we said, the different clouds you should be able to handle. Yeah? AWS, in this case, Azure and GCP. Yeah? Correct. In the end, what is always a good approach um, to read a job description. Read it, understand the core technologies which you need to bring to the table, make sure you have experience using them. 
And then as a next step, understand the business problem of the company. Try to do some research. Sometimes you can get that in the JD itself. Understand what kind of challenges do they have and how do they try to solve that. And then you showcase how you solve those problems in your previous products before. So true. And just to add, because we talked about uh, already about the for, for backend positions, also here, the environment and um, the knowledge about um, Docker and Kubernetes, you should, um, yeah, should be, be be aware of, of it and uh, show that you have worked uh, um, with Docker and Kubernetes, which gives you a great plus. Exactly. Um, if you're a data professional, if you're a good data engineer, you have worked with similar technologies, you're interested in moving to Germany, check out our 20 minutes or 15 minutes video training, which you find below this video. Watch it, understand how we work, then apply to our program. We're going to assess your skills. If we think we are a good match, we're going to work with you. Then it usually takes two to three months for you to get an offer and come work in Germany. All the best. Auf Wiedersehen and bye-bye. Take care.